I took the liberty of introducing an abstract definition of a distance function before giving an explicit example. The reason is that we can have different functions d that satisfy the properties of a distance function. Instead of Euclidean distance, we could have defined dxy equals the absolute value of x1 minus y1 plus the absolute value of x2 minus y2 up to the absolute value of xn minus yn. So in the 3D case, we would measure the absolute value of the first component differences, the absolute value of the second component differences, and the absolute value of the third component differences, and add them together. We could have even given D a completely boneheaded definition. DX, Y equals 1 if X does not equal Y and equals 0 if X equals Y. In other words, this distance function distinguishes one point from another. A recurring theme in mathematics is... Math Mantra! If we prove a theorem using only the properties of an object, then we can apply the theorem to any other object that satisfies the same properties. So, if we prove a fact about a distance function using only its abstract definition, then we immediately know that this fact is true for any particular distance function. Or, in the language of computer scientists, this fact is true for any instantiation. So, understand the properties of distance, as well as the properties of all abstract definitions in this course, and don't just gloss over them. You'll thank me later.